Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole for those of you that are new to my channel. Today I have another full body Pilates workout for you. All you will need is yourself and a mat. So when you're ready, let's get started. Let's start in a comfortable cross-legged position on our mat with our hands in prayer and our eyes closed. Take this time to tune into your breath. So take nice deep inhales through your nose and exhales through your mouth. As you find length through your spine, really reaching the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Then interlace your fingers and press your palms away from you and reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Take a nice inhale here. Then exhale, twist over to your left. Take one deep breath here, finding length through your spine. Then inhale back through center. Exhale, twist to your right, rooting down through your sitting bones, holding here for one deep breath and then inhale back through center. Exhale, release your hands down by your side, close your eyes again, and then carefully drop your right ear down to your right shoulder, feeling a release through the left side of your neck. Then drop your chin down towards your chest, then lift your chin and come back through center. Let's switch sides, dropping our left ear now down to our left shoulder, really reaching through our right fingertips to feel a deeper stretch, and then carefully drop your chin down towards your chest. Lift your chin and carefully bring your head back up to center. Open your eyes, and then bring your legs out in front of you. Your feet are hip distance apart. Your knees have a nice soft bend. Hold on to the backs of your thighs. Inhale, lengthen your spine, sitting up tall. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin in towards your chest. And again, inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, round back. Let's do two more of these. This is a really great way to warm up our spine as well as a great way to switch on our abdominals. On this last one, exhale, round back, coming down a little bit further. Press your palms into the sides of your thighs. Inhale, lift your right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, lower the hand back down. Other side, inhale, left arm reaches. Exhale, lower. Keep going with this. Each time that you lift your arm up, I want you to think of pressing the opposite palm into your thigh to create a little extra resistance for your abdominals. Keep your shoulders down and back, your chest nice and lifted and drop your ribs down towards your hips to really switch on your abdominals. Good job. From here, roll yourself up, extend your legs, inhale, reach your arms up, and exhale, fold forward. Taking a moment to feel a nice stretch through the back of your legs. Then carefully roll on up. Let's bend our legs again, back into that same position. This time, inhale, reach your arms forward and then exhale, round your spine back, finding your C curve. Let's alternate lifting and lowering one arm. So nice big scissors with our arms here. Just breathing naturally, focusing on relaxing your shoulders, keeping your core nice and tight. Nothing else is moving but your arms.
Good. Now hold your arms in front of your shoulders. Let's twist on our exhale over to our right. Inhale, lift your arms up, twist over to your left and lower your arms. Keep going. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, lift your arms up and over. Two more. See if you can round back through your spine a little bit more. Good, now let's reverse it. So exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, lift your arms up and over to the right. So exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, reach the arms up and over. Let's do two more. Last one. Now from here, let's just twist left and right we do this 16 times keep your ribs down towards your hips really getting into your obliques here let's do four more three two and one well done straighten your legs reach your arms up and let's take our forward fold again option here to flex your feet and hold on to the back of your feet pulling your toes towards your chest and finding a length through your spine this is a great way to feel an extra stretch through the back of your calves and your hamstrings then gently release and roll on up Inhale, release your arms forward in line with your shoulders and then exhale very slowly round your spine back vertebra by vertebra until you come all the way down onto your back. Shuffle yourself forward if you need to like I do. And then from here, shuffle your heels in towards your glutes. Your feet are hip distance apart. Reach your arms by your side. And then on your inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, press through your heels and roll your hips up, finding your bridge position. Inhale, bring your arms back down to the mat and exhale, roll your hips down with control. Keep going, inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, tuck your hips under, finding your bridge. Inhale, lower the arms and exhale, lower the hips. So keep going, you have two more of these. This is a really great way to warm up our spine and also get our glutes switched on. Last one. And roll your hips down with control. Good. From here, lift your head and shoulders. Your chin is tucked in and reach your arms by your hips. Let's do our hundred. So pump the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Now you can stay with your feet on the mat or lift your legs to a tabletop position so your knees are stacked over your hips. That's level two. Level three, extend your legs up towards the ceiling and turn your toes out. Level four is flexing your feet and lowering your legs down to a 45 degree angle. Now you pick whichever level feels good for you. Just make sure that you are breathing. So nice, inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Try to keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Your chin is tucked in. You can do it. We're really firing up those abdominals as well as our legs. And last one, inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Well done, hug your knees in, rest your head and turn your head right and left to release any tension. Extend your legs long on the mat now and let's reach our arms by our ears. On your inhale, reach your hands forward, tuck your chin in, roll yourself up to seated, 
exhale round over your legs then inhale roll yourself down with control and exhale arms reach by your ears keep going really using your abdominals to roll up and then draw your navel back towards your spine as you reach over your legs we have two more of these And last one. Really roll down vertebra by vertebra and with control. Good job, that is one of my favorite exercises. Okay, from here, keep your legs long on the mat, squeeze your thighs together. Take your hands behind your head and your elbows wide. Take a nice inhale, then exhale, curl your head and shoulders up and pull your right knee into a tabletop position. Inhale, lower your head down and extend the leg back out. Other side, exhale, lift your head and shoulders, pull the left knee up and then inhale, come back down. So keep going with this, drawing one knee into tabletop each time that you perform your abdominal curl. Now make sure here that you're keeping your elbows nice and wide, your chin is tucked in towards your chest, and you're thinking of dropping your ribs down towards your hips. Keep going, nice exhale as you curl up, inhale as you come back down. On your next one, hold your head and shoulders lifted with your left knee in tabletop. Lift your right leg off the mat and let's just switch our legs right and left. Exhaling each time that you lower the leg down towards the mat and inhale as you bring it through center. Keep going. You have four more. Three, two, and one good job rest your head extend your legs out long again and take a nice deep breath because we are going to level this up so this time round exhale as you lift your head and shoulders i want you to bend your knee in towards your chest and extend your leg up towards the ceiling other side exhale curl bend the knee to the chest extend the leg to the ceiling and bring it back down Really try to control this movement as best you can so that you are engaging the muscles in your legs. Keep dropping your ribs down towards your hips each time that you come up into your abdominal curl. And the last one, hold your curl and your leg extended. Let's hover that right leg off the mat. This time, let's scissor switch our legs. So you switch and switch. Just six more, five, you can do it. Nice, strong legs. Three, two, and one. Well done, hug your knees in. Rock your spine side to side, releasing any tension through your back. And then set your feet back down on the mat. Feet are hip distance apart, shuffle your heels in towards your glutes and reach your hands by your side. Let's roll our hips up, finding our bridge position. Really tuck your hips under so that you find that squeeze through your glute. Inhale, lower your hips, exhale, lift. So inhale as you lower your hips, exhale as you press your hips up, finding that engagement through your glutes. So really press through your heels and tuck your hips under slightly so that you find the squeeze through your glutes. Last one, hold your hips high. Shift your weight into your left foot and lift your right leg up to a tabletop position. On your exhale, tap your right toes down to the mat, inhale, lift. And again, exhale, tap, inhale, lift. If you want more of a challenge, you can extend your arms up towards the ceiling. If you want even more of a challenge, extend your right leg long 
and then lower the leg down straight and kick the leg back up. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Final little challenge is to reach your arms by your ears as you lower your leg down. We do two more of these. Keep pressing through your left heel. Last one, hold your leg lifted. Let's pulse our hips up and up. Just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, set your right foot down. Take your hands down to the mat and roll your hips down. Open your knees, bring the soles of your feet together. Take one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Enjoy this little break and take a nice deep breath. Okay, round two. Bring your feet back in towards your glutes. They are hip distance apart and roll your hips back up to your glute bridge. Tuck your pelvis under. Let's lower our hips and lift. So inhale, lower, exhale, lift. So we are going to do exactly the same series, but with the other leg. Last one, hold your hips high. Shift your weight into your right foot. Lift your left leg up to tabletop. Exhale, tap your toes to the mat, inhale, lift. Keep going with this. Remember your first challenge is extending your arms up towards the ceiling. Stick with this or extend your left leg long and lower the leg straight on your exhale, inhale, kick it up. Final challenge is reaching your arms by your ears as you lower your leg down and then back to the ceiling as you kick the leg up. Last one, hold your leg lifted. Let's pulse the hips up and up, really pressing through your right heel, lifting your hips. Four more, three, two, and one. Well done, set your left foot down, lower your hands to the mat and roll your hips down. That is a challenging little series. So let's open our knees, bring the soles of your feet together again, close your eyes and take a deep breath. From here, point your toes, keep your toes together and your knees are apart. Take your hands behind your head, elbows wide. Inhale, then exhale, lift your head and shoulders, finding your abdominal curl. On your inhale, lift your knees up to tabletop and then exhale, tap your toes back down. So inhale as you lift your knees to tabletop, keeping that diamond shape with the legs and exhale as you tap your toes back down. Make sure here that each time that you tap your toes down to the mat, that you're keeping your lower back in contact with the mat. So really avoiding any arching through your back. Last one, hold your legs in tabletop with your knees open. Let's work our obliques. So twist to the right and center, twist to the left and center. So exhale each time that you bring opposite elbow to opposite knee. Really try to use your abdominals to curl yourself up, really trying to reach that elbow towards your knee. Keep your knees stacked directly over your hips. Last one and come back through center. Keep your abdominal curl. Extend your legs up towards the sky with your heels together and your toes turned out. Final challenge. Inhale, lower your legs, then exhale, lift them up. Keep going. Only lowering your legs as low as you can without lifting your lower back off the mat. So keep pressing your lower back down into the mat. Use your breath to help you here. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Last one, you can do it. Good job. Hug your knees in towards your chest. 
turn your head right and left. That was a challenging little series. Okay, from here, roll on over to your side. Take your arm out nice and long, resting your head on your arm and extend your legs long so that you create one long line with your body. Inhale, draw your navel in towards your spine. Exhale, lift both legs up off the mat and inhale, lower. So exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. We do six more of these, really using the side of our waist to lift our legs up. So I want you to think of dropping that top rib down towards your top hip. Let's do two more. Last one, hold your legs lifted. And now let's lower the bottom leg and lift. So inhale as you lower the bottom leg, exhale as you lift, six more. Try to lift your top leg a few inches above hip height so that your bottom leg has a nice little challenge. Last one, hold your legs lifted. Let's scissor the legs now. You just switch and switch for eight more. Seven, six, you can do it. Five, four, lift the legs a little higher. Three, two, and one. Good job, rest your legs down and then prop yourself up. We're going to come in to a side kick series now. So take your hand underneath your shoulder, your bottom knee is bent and your top leg is long. Make sure that your hand is directly underneath your shoulder and that your hips and your chest are square to the front of the room. Take your top hand onto your hip, exhale, lift your leg and inhale lower. So exhale, lift, inhale lower. We have six more of these. This is really great for the outside of our glutes, as well as our core and our shoulder. Everything is working here. So if things start to burn, you know you are doing it right. Last one, hold the leg lifted. Let's draw tiny circles. Just tiny little circles, trying to keep everything still. And then reverse the circle. Good job, hold the leg still. Reach your top arm overhead, exhale, pull elbow to knee, inhale, extend. So exhale, pull, inhale, extend. Really getting into the side of our waist. Try to create one long line with your body as you extend your arm and leg out long. And try to pull the knee in towards your chest, keeping it at exactly the same level. Last one, hold your arm and leg long. Let's pulse the leg up and up to finish. Eight more, you can do it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ouch, rest your hips down. And let's come into our mermaid stretch. So your right knee is bent in front of you and your left foot is pointed back. Inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, side bend over to your left. Then inhale, come back up, exhale, side bend over to your right. Let's do this one more time. And come back through center. Guess what? We get to do that whole series again on the other side. So swing your legs around, come on to your other side with your arm out long, resting your head on your arm and your legs are extended in line with your body. Inhale, draw your navel in towards your spine. Exhale, lift your legs up. Then inhale, lower. So exhale as you lift your legs, inhale as you lower. Again, thinking of using the side of your waist here to lift your legs. So drop that top rib down towards your hip and then lift your legs up. Last one, hold your legs lifted, bottom leg lowers 
and lifts. So inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Keep that top leg a few inches above hip height so that your bottom leg has somewhere to work to. Good job, we're really getting into our inner thighs here. Last one, hold your legs lifted. Let's scissor our legs, scissor and scissor. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Let's prop ourselves up and get ready for our side kneeling series. So take your hand directly underneath your shoulder, your bottom knee is bent, and your top leg is extended. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Exhale, lift the leg, inhale, lower. So exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Keep your gaze forward here, or if that bothers your neck, you could always look down slightly towards the mat. This is a really challenging exercise, and it's probably feeling a little bit more painful on this second side. Last one, hold your leg lifted. Let's draw those tiny little circles. Keep your abdominals nice and strong here to stabilize your upper body. And now reverse the circle. Try to keep that leg nice and lifted. I know it's hard. Good job, hold the leg still. Let's reach our top arm overhead. Exhale, pull elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. Inhale, extend. You have four more of these. You can do it. Keep that leg at the same height as you pull the knee forward. Two more. And last one, hold your arm and leg straight. Let's lift the leg up and up to finish. You can do it. Six, five, so strong. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Good job. Lower your hips and let's come into our favorite mermaid stretch. This time with your left knee forward and your right foot back. Inhale, reach your left arm up and over. And then to the other side, reaching your right arm up and over. One more. Just breathing naturally here, whatever feels good for you. And come back through center. Well done, aren't you glad that's over? Okay, from here, come onto your hands and your knees and carefully lower yourself all the way down to the front side of your body. Your feet are hip distance apart in parallel and then reach your arms back by your sides with your palms facing up towards the ceiling. Draw your navel in towards your spine and then on your inhale, let's lift our chest and our arms off the mat but keep your gaze down towards the mat to protect your spine. Palms face up, let's pump our arms up and up. So nice strong pumps of the arms here. Really roll your shoulders back and draw your shoulder blades together. Press the tops of your feet down into the mat and I really want you to reach through your toes so that you're finding length through your body. Last few pumps here. And now let's hold our arms still. Exhale, lift your right leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift your left leg. Inhale, lower. Keep going. Keeping your chest nice and lifted. Really reach your hands towards your feet. Lifting your chest up as high as you can, but keeping your gaze down towards the mat. Maybe lift your arms up a little bit higher so that you feel a nice burn through the backs of your arms. Last one. Good job. Rest back down. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up. Curl your toes under and press back into a downward facing dog. 
Feel free to pedal your heels here, alternate bending your knees, doing whatever feels good for your body. And then carefully walk your hands back towards your feet and roll yourself up to standing. Take your feet mat distance apart with your toes turned out. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Then inhale, squat down, sitting your hips low and exhale, press up. So inhale as you squat down, exhale as you press up. Let's do six more of these. Really sending your hips back far behind you, making sure that your knees stay stacked directly over your ankles and you're finding that beautiful long line in your spine. On your next one, hold a low in your squat, draw your navel in, let's pulse it down and down. Option to add some arms so you can reach your arms back and forward as you pulse down and down, just to work our arms a little bit more. Good. Just four more, and three, and two, and one. Good job. Lift your chest, walk your feet back in so they're hip distance apart. Inhale, exhale, tuck your chin in, roll yourself down, bringing your hands down to the mat, and walk them forward, coming into a higher plank. Set your knees down, uncurl your toes, and then shift your hips forward, finding your push-up position. Squeeze your heels in towards your glutes. Inhale, bend your elbows in by your waistline and exhale, press up. Everyone's favorite. Inhale as you bend into your push-up. Exhale as you press up. Now take this at your own pace, really controlling this movement, making sure that your spine is nice and straight, that you're keeping your abdominals in, and that you're really getting into those tricep muscles. Let's do one more. Good job. Now bend your elbows and let's lower ourselves all the way back down to the front side of our body. Extend your legs long, open them hip distance apart, and this time reach your arms forward in line with your shoulders. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Let's lift our right leg up and our left arm up. And then switch arm and legs. Just breathing naturally here, you just switch and switch, going for a swim. Let's speed this up now. You just switch, 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 switch. Just breathing naturally, trying to lift your arms and legs as high as you can, but keeping your gaze down towards the mat. Last one. Good job, rest back down, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press yourself up, curl your toes under, and press back to a downward facing dog. Take this moment to catch your breath if you need to. I know that I definitely was enjoying this little rest. Then carefully walk your hands back towards your feet and roll yourself up vertebra by vertebra. This time, let's step our feet out nice and wide with our toes turned out. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Let's come down into a wide second plie and then press up, creating nice big circles with our arms. So in our plie, unlike our squats, we're focusing on keeping our spine nice and straight. So shoulders stay stacked directly over our hips and our knees are stacked directly over our ankles. Last one, hold low in your plie. Let's pulse it out, down and down. Adding nice big ballet circles with our arms to distract ourselves from the little burn that you might be feeling through your inner thighs. Keep your chest nice and lifted, your shoulders down and back. Good job. Press out of that. Bring your feet back to hip distance apart. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, tuck your chin in and roll yourself back down to the mat. 
walk your hands forward coming into your high plank position for your final exercise. Make sure that your shoulders are directly over your wrists, your hips are low and you're drawing your navel in. Inhale, lift your left leg up, exhale, pull the left knee out wide, inhale, extend it back, and then exhale, pull the knee across the body. So right knee pulls out wide, extends back, pulls across, and then sets back down. So use your breath to help you here. Exhaling each time that you pull the knee out wide, inhale, extend, exhale, pull across, inhale, set it down. Keep pressing through your shoulders, keep drawing your navel up towards your spine. This is a really great exercise to finish class with because you really feel like all of the muscles in your body are working. Okay, last one, hold your right knee across your body and let's just switch left and right, pulling the knee across our body to the opposite elbow. You can do it. Let's do eight more, seven, six, five, so strong, four, three, two, and one. Well done, set your knees down and press back into a child's pose. You deserve this child's pose after this really intense Pilates workout. So take this time to just tune back into your breath, Nice big inhales and exhales. And then roll yourself up to seated. Come onto your glutes and very carefully roll yourself all the way down to your back. Once you're down on your back, keep your left foot on the mat and extend your right leg up towards the ceiling. Hold on to the back of your calf or back of your thigh, wherever you can reach and just alternate flexing and pointing your right toes. Feeling a nice stretch to the back of your right leg. Then flex your right foot and cross your right foot over your left thigh, opening your right knee. Thread your hands through your legs and pull your left knee in towards your chest. Close your eyes here and breathe into this very yummy glute stretch. Then set your left foot down, cross your right leg over your left and drop your legs over to the left as you look over your right shoulder. Reaching your arms out nice and wide, feeling a beautiful twist through your spine. Then come back through center and switch sides. Extend your left leg up towards the ceiling, holding on to the back of your calf. And let's flex and point our left foot. Then flex your left foot, cross your left foot over your right thigh, opening your left knee and hug your right knee in towards your chest. Set your right foot back down on the mat, cross your left leg over your right, take your arms out to a T and let's drop our knees over to the right as we look over our left shoulder. Carefully come back through center, uncross your legs roll on to your side and carefully press yourself up to a seated position. Cross your legs sitting up nice and tall just like how we started class. Inhale reach your right arm up and exhale side bend over to your left. And switch sides. Inhale left arm lifts, exhale side bend to your right. and come back through center. Let's finish class with one last big inhale, reaching your arms up to the ceiling and exhale, hands come down to prayer. 
Thank you so much everyone for joining me for this full body Pilates workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much everyone and I'll see you next time.